Well, hello friends and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be doing my 2019 Halloween house tour where I just go around my house and show you what I have out for Halloween. So I'm starting here in my kitchen and this is a set of um, dish towels. I got these at Disney World. They are from the Haunted Mansion, as you can see. And I just put them like this together so that the um, hitchhiking ghosts show up at the top and the one in the background. Over by the kitchen sink, I have this candelabra plug-in from Bath and Body Works. It is quite elaborate. <laughs> Maybe you should have a better place to showcase it because it is so big, but it's beautiful. I love it. Then the other side of the kitchen, I have this um, haunted house plug-in. Again, it's from Bath and Body Works. Very elaborate. I got both of these um, this year, so they were 2019 releases. Over here on the baker's rack, I have two more Haunted Mansion towels that I got at Disney World on top of the toaster oven because the toaster oven has a big burn spot on the top of it. I need to have something over it. This little ceramic candy corn dish, I think I got it at an estate sale. I picked up this pumpkin spiced whipped cream candle at Aldi this year. Smells quite good. And then over here on the desk, I have my two anchor hawking jars with candy. I always change these out seasonally. These are the Halloween peanut M&Ms. I got those at Sam's Club. And then it took three bags of the candy corn mix stuff to fill another jar. It's two bags of just pumpkins and then one bag of the candy corn and the pumpkins. I wish I'd just gotten the pumpkins, just the pumpkins, not the candy corn mix. But if you ever get the same crocking jar, it takes three bags to fill it. Um, and then another candle from Aldi. This one's uh, Cozy Harvest. And um, that wraps up what's in the kitchen. So now move to the living room and I have this felt wreath. This is a Target find on clearance. <laughs> um, so that hangs there. Then on top of the china cabinet, I have this uh, candelabra thing. Again, that was a Target find from a few years ago. These little uh, pumpkins I got at an estate sale. And then all those trees I got at Target last year on clearance, they were like a buck each. I was trying to make a big forest. I don't know why I got them all, but I, I hit the 90% off day last year and I went to two stores and I like, I bought everything. It's a little embarrassing, but anyway, there are those. Then on the hook of the Kiro cabinet, I have this flag or banner thing, yeah, that I got at Disney World a few years back. So I like both sides. I just kind of flip it around sometimes. So get to see both. The inside of the curio cabinet on this shelf, I have various thrift store and estate sale finds. I think I got the, I think everything up here except for this. Or no, did I? Maybe this all is thrifted. I think it might be. Uh, down here, again, a combination of thrift and uh, craft show items. I know I got those at a craft show years ago. That is a Hallmark ornament there. That little ghost is a craft show. That little hat is a craft show item. And then again, things that I picked up at estate sales. My dad got me that pumpkin years and years ago. And then down here, uh, these are both uh, estate sale finds. So I've got the little uh, cluster of bears dressed up and then this little bear family. So all my kind of little small items live here in the curio cabinet. So now for the entertainment center. This first shelf, this is a little set of Hallmark ornaments, peanuts. Uh, it's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown. I love the Charlie Brown holiday stuff. So I collect that. This um, Snoopy on a ceramic pumpkin. This is a little house I just picked up at a an estate sale. Uh, this little Linus, I think again, I got him at an estate sale, I feel like. This is a Scentsy pumpkin warmer, then a Snow Baby M&M, and then these M&M figurines, I used to sell these, this was years ago, but I'd gotten those wholesale, I sold them um, online. 
Then um, this shelf, another thrifted piece or estate sale piece, and then a Hallmark ornament, a Hallmark ornament, and then I don't know where Lucy came from. I think maybe like Walgreens or something random like that. Up at the top, these little pumpkins I got at Target. The tree I got at Target years ago. All the ornaments at the top are Hallmark ornaments. Um, yeah, all those are Hallmark ornaments. So those are all the Peanuts characters. Then the top row here, again, all of these are from Target. I get them, you know, 90% off when they go to 90% off to Target. Then this side here, same tree. The only difference on this tree is that I have a few little ornaments that I got at Kohl's, like a set, but otherwise they are the Peanuts Halloween collection from many years. Then down on this shelf, another Scentsy Warmer, and then the two little s'mores characters. This is Lucy. She does play uh, the Linus and Lucy theme song. And then these little figurines um, there. This is a Bath and Body Works uh, haunted house that they put out every year. I got one. One year I went in and they were having a big clearance sale and they had one and I got for 16 bucks. They sell these for like over $100, no way. I used to have two small ones that flanked it and last year they broke. So we're down to the big one and even that's cracked. And then here, just another one of these little Thai pumpkins next to Miss Lucy Lou. And here on this, ignore the cords. You know, these start off the year nice or start off the season tucked away and then they just get pulled out. So I have this big pumpkin uh, plastic thing down there for trick or treat night, a Bath and Body Works candle. This I ordered this year because I wanted a black Christmas or black Christmas tree, a black Halloween tree that I could put lights on. And then I got the lights to go with it and then I didn't have batteries. And now I feel like I'm too late in the season to bother. So we'll decorate that next year. <laughs> then there is this shelf, um, shelving unit here by the front door and this is a thrifted piece, or estate sale piece. When I say thrifted, it's almost always a estate sale. A uh, cat for candy, a Bath and Body Works um, candle holder. This, uh, I'm pretty sure I got an estate sale. Matching Bath and Body Works candle holder. One of the Anchor Hawking pumpkin dishes. Another estate sale find. This I got at the consignment store this year and uh, Snoopy and Woodstock. I've had these a while, they're from Hallmark. This is a cute little pin that I don't know where I got it, but Bath and Body Works candles. These I got at craft shows years and years ago, and they're Lucy and Max. These are vintage jack-o'-lantern um, pumpkins from when, before I was born, they belonged to my brothers. And then the teal pumpkin that you put out for um, kids with allergies, so they know that you have non-candy items. And then that wreath, which is a closet there, that is another uh, Target clearance find. And then the other area I've decorated are these shelves that are behind me in my unboxing videos. And these all hold uh, Disney Parks items, Disney World, you know, items from Halloween. Um, this necklace came, whoa, in a subscription box I reviewed. And now it's fallen off. I picked up these two coffee mugs few years back when I was there in um, October. They've got the same thing on each side. It's got one in orange, one in black. I just, I'm not a Disney person, but I'm a Walt Disney World person. So I love the Halloween stuff at Disney World. This ornament I picked up there and this uh, hanging thing, whatever you call it. I got it Pier 1 Imports years ago. This is another from the Disney Parks. These little pumpkins that now one is on the floor. I got these at Dollar Tree this year. These are the Haunted Mansion um, ornaments. I got these a few years back. So that's two different sets. Over here, I have a Mickey um, jack o lantern from, yeah, I got this down there too, yeah. Um, Haunted Mansion ornament, the little Dollar Tree pumpkins, another Haunted Mansion, and then this shelf, the other set of the um, Hitchhiking Ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. So. This was a set, the heads were a set, and then the tombstones were a set. So I got all three sets one year. And then this came in a subscription box this year, and then that came in a subscription box this year. So that um, is 
what I have inside the house for the Halloween decorations. Now I'm going to give you a little glimpse into the treat bags that I'm going to be making and handing out on Halloween. So last year I lucked out and I was able to hit Target right when they went to 90% off Halloween and I went to both stores in my area. Um, and I picked up all of these things to put into treat bags. Now, obviously, these are not all going to get up, used up this year. I intend to, you know, use these for years to come, hopefully. Um, but these are all, like, glow. Let's see if I can get one going. Glow rings. Um, these are grow bats. I picked up. I also went to Michael's the same day I was over by Target because they had 90 percent too. I just got these little fuzzies. These are those uh, magic towels that expand in water. Just some rings, spiders, and skulls. Nails, just because they were cheap. I, I went cuckoo. I realized that, that this is a lot. Um, I don't even know what this is. Glow lanterns, more spider rings, some light up necklaces. These are light up bracelets. There we go. <laughs> These are flashing badges, tons of treat bags, tons and tons of treat bags, uh, stickers, four different kinds of stickers. Then in here we have bubbles, we have those teeth, we've got lots of spiders and snakes, little cauldrons. These are some super cute coin pouches. These are light up eyeballs, erasers, more erasers, balls, and then the candy I got this year, I got all this at Sam's Club. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to make 60 bags up. I rarely have more than that, so I'm just going to do, so I thought, like, if I get the Reese's, it has 60, so that's a good start. Every bag will get a Reese's, every bag will get a Twix, every bag will get two M&Ms, and then some of the child's play and I'll make 60 bags but then I'll obviously have others left over and I will clearly have um toys and whatnot as well so yeah I'll just be stuffing these bags full and handing them out hopefully the weather is nice if the weather's nice I usually get a decent amount of trick-or-treaters even though I live on a busy street a lot of times like cars will pull up I think because I have the outside of my house so decorated elaborately and they'll let kids out so typically you get an okay crowd. So anyway, Charlie, what do you think? Charlie, what do you want to do? What are you going to be for Halloween? You want to wear a costume for Halloween? Do you want to be a pumpkin? <gasps> a pumpkin? I've got a pumpkin costume. How about I insert you in your pumpkin costume last year so we can end out the video with that? <laughs> okay, guys, if you liked my Halloween house tour, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more videos I typically upload every day. So with that, we're going to say goodbye and I will insert last year's um, picture of Charlie dressed up like a pumpkin. Right, Charlie? Charlie, say thanks for watching. Bye.